right, so the A's played well today, and they beat the Colorado Rockies by a final score of 4-1. to one. We got to see a lot of, you know, young guys come out here and show their talent. So it was a good way to win. We got nine hits total, and the Rockies' only run came in the eighth. Obviously, they're not a very good team, but still, good way to win. So the A's opened up scoring in the bottom of the second inning with a two-run double by Mitch Moreland, and that put the A's up 2 nothing. Moreland, ever since he's come over from the Padres, obviously he's a designated hitter. He's looked really good, and, um, you know, nice to see him get that cool double that just allowed these two guys to come in. So that was really nice. And like I said, there was a lot of young talent out there, hitting-wise and pitching. Dalton Jeffries, he's a young pitcher. Um, he had an impressive outing out there. Um, he allowed a leadoff triple to Josh Fuentes, but came back with three straight strikeouts to retire uh, the inning and kept it scoreless. So that was a really good way for him. This is show that tough mentality he has um but yeah then the a's would tack on another run in the fourth by a sack fly for jed lowry he's been pretty consistent obviously he's an older guy um but he has been having a lot of good rbis lately so that's good trevor rosenthal he's also a new player from the padres came in to replace dalton jeffries he threw a scoreless inning with one strikeout and only one hit allowed so that was a nice you know inning for him uh good to see him come in obviously because he's new um and Dalton Jeffries I mean I've talked about him before but he's looked really good um in spring training this year he's pitched 13 innings he has 20 strikeouts only two have earned runs um in a 1.38 ERA um so and you know that's just really good I think he really deserves deserves a roster spot and he can really make our um lineup really good he's a right-hand pitcher so that's good Jake Diekman came in later at pitcher and he played really good too so that was nice to see He's been having a good year, and we're going to expect a lot from him since Liam Hendricks is gone. The Padres in the eighth, or sorry, the Rockies in the eighth did tack on a run. It was a bloop hit from Hampson off J.B. Wendelkin to make it to make it three to one. Um, but guess what? Seth Brown, who's been really good lately, um, homered, and the A's, you know, just put it away. Four to one final score, and Rosenthal, um, he's been, you know, one thing I've talked about is velocity. His his velocity has been um, uprising, and it's really nice. Um, and he's, you know, he's pitching fast, he's pitching well. Uh, AJ Puck, guys that, you know, are younger too, are trying to get their velocity up. But definitely a good one. Um, I think, you know, the guy that had probably the best game, in my opinion, probably would be um, uh, Seth Brown. That homer was great, but I think also Rosenthal's double uh, that brought in two was great. Pitching-wise, though, I got to give it to Dalton Jeffries. Two hits allowed seven strikeouts and 4.0 innings pitched um so definitely a good one definitely you know got to watch out for him his era is under two right now so that's really good i think he's a, another young guy they should add on to their roster for the regular season but that's pretty much it the a's now will play the white Sox next game um at one tomorrow so that's going to be a good one and for a record we are now 11 9 and 2 so let me know what you guys think go a's